Welcome, in front of me is a Motorola Edge 20 Lite and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So we're gonna start off with a fairly common one which is the dark mode. As you can see by default it's not enabled but you can quickly access it by going into the settings, display and simply toggling dark theme. This is basically equivalent to a dark mode. And there we go. And this basically changes majority of the things into dark mode, including apps as well as you can see. So there we go. Um, now let's actually see if there's also another option here. And there actually is. So when you click on it, it gives you the scheduled option, which well, actually provides you a little bit more versatility. Uh, personally, I prefer to have my dark mode enabled only at night, and I, on my phone, don't actually have this option, so I would have to toggle it on and off manually. But here you can set up a schedule and don't worry about it ever again. It will switch between dark and light mode depending on the time that you have set. Now moving on to the next one, it's going to be the display refresh rate. By default, I believe it's set to 90 right over here, again under the display. And uh, 90 hertz, of this refresh rate I will provide you with a little bit of a smoother experience by scrolling through content. Uh, but additionally, it will also drain your battery a little bit quicker. Now, personally, I do prefer to have it on a higher refresh rate and just suffer on the battery side. Uh, but if you're the type of person that don't really see much of a benefit in the faster refresh rate, uh, the smoother like overall experience of your device, then you can simply go into the display refresh rate section, drop it back to 60, and this will well, reduce the refresh rate of the display and also give you some additional battery life. So moving on to the next option, it's going to be a swipe to split screen. Uh, so this is a section again under the display section somewhere in here. And there we go, swipe to split. And you basically need to enable it and all you do is just gently swipe it like that. It doesn't want to split for some reason. Oh, I need to go back, apparently. Still didn't work. Okay, so the problem is I was going a little bit too far. But as you can see, there we go. Now let's actually try it out with the actual application, so. Doesn't really want to see. Doesn't really want to work. Oh, it seems a little bit iffy. For some reason, it works in the test environment, but here it does not. I have a suggestion. Uh, suggestion that this might be because of the gesture navigation. As you can see, every time you swipe from it, it pulls out the arrow. And I think it just messes up the gesture, making it kind of redundant. I guess, to go back to it, we can simply get to the split screen by going into here. But then again, that kind of defeats the purpose of that gesture. A little bit sad. Anyway, moving on to the next one, it's going to be the uh, quick launch. And this allows you to set up, uh, I believe it was a limit to three different applications. Uh, that will basically use more of your phone's RAM just so they can launch quickly. So if you have some kind of app that launches a little bit longer than you would want it to, add it to, to the list and it should launch way quicker. So all you need to do is go into the, I believe it was system and performance, there we go, and we have quick launch. As you can see, quick launch uh, uses extra RAM to open up apps faster, it can uh, be used or up to three apps and all you need to do is tap on add app and choose whichever app you want to add so Facebook might not be the best case scenario here considering they've been down yesterday but anyway not what I want to click so there we go 
So basically once you have those apps, uh, you don't actually need to do anything extra. So they should now open up quicker by using more of your RAM and preloading it. And that was actually fairly quick considering I actually haven't opened this up at all. And as you can see, basically jumped straight to it. Um, now I do need to actually log into it. But anyway, moving on to the last option, this is going to be the attentive display. And what this does is uses the front facing camera to look if you're actually looking at the display or not. And what, is, what this will do is keep the screen on as long as you're looking at the display. When you stop looking at it, it will start the, typic, start the typical countdown uh, for the screen timeout and then just lock as normally. So anyway, to get this enabled, let's go into the Moto application and then here you want to navigate to three dots or bars and display where you will find attentive display. Toggle it on and as you can see it gives you how it works. Cool. Turn on. And that's it basically. It's now enabled. That's all you need to do. Now, to be fair, I don't really have a good way to showcase this right now. Um, probably it will stay on as long as I am basically near the phone, so yeah. So anyway, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.